If I, I made a mistake in the past, but right now we're playing something chill. Some Stardew Valley. The United States cans of soda usually weigh 12 ounces or around 33 uh, centiliters. While European soda cans contain around, uh, contain around uh, 33 centiliters, while the Americans usually contain around 35. Meaning that for every 16 or so cans of soda that the U.S. gets, one more can of soda gets one more can worth of soda. Damn. I got some leaks. What else am I supposed to do? Uh, the Scandinavian name for the Northern Lights translates to herring flash, since the lights were believed to reflections of large swarms of herrings into the sky. Insert my stupid joke about a herring flashing people. Before the light bulb was invented, people slept approximately 10 hours a, 10 hours a night. Today, Americans sleep around 6 hours a night du during the weekends, during the weeknights, around 7 during um, weekends. I blame social economic collapse. Narcoleptics can experience sleep attacks that occur at any moment. The disease is believed to affect over 293,000 people in the U.S. alone. Damn. Is it possible to be, like, semi-narcoleptic? I think there's varying degrees of narcolepsy. Because, like, when I get done with classes, it's like, okay, awesome, I have this a ton of energy. But then when I get back to my room, like, all that energy just leaves me. Yeah, I feel you. It's like... I will pull. I find myself gravitating to a natural sleep schedule of I'm awake for 24 hours, then I sleep for like 10. Oof. Uh, in 1867, scientist John Tydall first discovered why the sky was blue. When a flash of light is shown through clear filtered air, the beam cannot be seen. With normal air, it can. He concluded that one was seeing light beams because the air is full of particles that disperse light. Because the microscopic dust particles floating in the air scatter blue light more than red or yellow, the sky looks blue. Damn. Silk making process was invented in, China, in China, China thousands of years ago. They produced the approximately half the silk made in the entire world. Do you know what else? Silk's nice. How do I... There we go. The Hare Desert is the second largest desert in the world. It occupies around approximately 10% of Africa and is growing. A total area more than 3,500,000 square miles. Temperature can reach up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. Antarctica is the largest desert on the, on the planet. But Chris, the Antarctic is a tund is an icy tundra. How is that a desert? Because deserts are categorized based on the amount of rainfall or snowfall, depending on the pre precipitation. Antarctica has less snowfall than the Sahara Desert uh, across its entire continental size. Therefore, is a larger desert. Although. It is not the driest place on Earth. The driest place on Earth is the Atacama Desert in South America. Wow, I have learned so much. I should tell YouTube to give us more money. Oh, we're not even earning money. Uh, <laughs> Says you, I'm earning all the money that I can off of this like, channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Just kidding, those three actually don't work. Uh, well, subscribe does actually help a little bit. If you subscribe and click the little bell icon because YouTube is stupid and uh, keeps changing shit. Yeah. Or don't subscribe at all and free me from this mortal coil! Kidding. I'm kidding. There's a website called um, mysubbox.com. Is that where you get your subs? 
Uh, hang on one second. God, I thought I was more far along in this game than I actually am. I don't have, like... <sighs> I'm well, we've also have always been oval. The boys at the rugby school use inflated pig's bladders as the, as, for the balls, which are by nature oval in shape. So what you're saying... ...is something. Some, he's, you're, he's trying to speak to me. He, I feel like he's trying to speak to me in some word language that is close to... What the fuck am I trying to say? I don't know. Uh, okay, uh... Who haven't I met yet? Okay. I literally haven't met anybody. I haven't met- I haven't met Emo Dude- Oh, that guy! He lives down at the beach. Onward, my steed. It's called, uh, actually, I was wrong. The website's called iHeartMySubbox.com. Because my subbox is already owned by, like, a shoe place. It's called iHeartMySubbox.com, spelled, no, spelled the letter I, heart, my subbox.com, all one word. And it's literally just a website that uh, you click on it and it shows you nothing but what's in your sub your subscription box for YouTube. You log in with YouTube and it just does that, just does that. And it's only made by a third party because they wanted YouTube to go back to the way it was and so they made Oh, that's really useful. Yep. The very first match at Tukwadin Ham Stadium took place in 1909, a stadium that can hold 74,000 spectators. Rio de Janeiro has a 50 kilometer, 31 miles of beaches spread along the coast of the state. Jesus Christ, where is everyone? Rats can live without water for even long for an even longer duration than camels. Neat. Experiment was done in which a mark rat was left on one of the islands of New Zealand. Within a few days, the same rat was found another island 400 meters away from the original. They can swim in the water for as long as 36 in uh, Contrary to popular belief, rats and mice do not like cheese. In fact, they are lactose intolerant. Oh shit, does that mean I'm a rat? Yes. Actually, wait, I'm like... <laughs> what the fuck is that? In Japanese, is the word rainbow means hi. Huh. It's weird. Uh, I don't know where I was going to go with that. My apologies. Every second, an area of rainforest compared with the size of a football field is being destroyed. That's illegal. Leo... Gersten Zang invented the cotton swab in 1920s after a tach wads of cotton toothpaste. This product was initially was in originally named Baby Gabe. What the fuck? So Q-tips are called Baby Gays. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start calling all our fans. All right, my little Q-tips. The word Q-tip is an abbreviation of quality tip. <laughs> what? Yep. Repeat that. The word Q-tip is an abbreviation for quality tip. Hmm. I guess I'm getting Q-tips every Saturday night. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah, because they, they tip you generously. They give you a lot of money for your... Of working that, the corn. That I that's illegal to say, how dare you. Templeton Rye Whiskey is said to be Al Capone's whiskey of choice. This has been this random fact Thursday.
Faggots. Damn, yeah, how? I was a non-binary. 